So well, hi there. This is another project from me, or whether it's a project made by the guys or the people who designed the Cosmos Electronic Radio Tech Kit. It's a super head, or better say, single conversion receiver. Um, I've had a look in the manual and I think this is the most advanced receiver that you can build in this box because it has a RF input amplifier and it has a intermediate frequency output amplifier. I think this, the combination of that gives you the, both, gives you the best sensitivity. And here's in some explanation. Um, he has written that it that is explains the picture, so that means if the local oscillator is oscillating 455 kilohertz, which is, which is the typical frequency for radio, uh, over the received signal, the output from the uh, filter is 455 kilohertz, uh, or better from the mixer, and the filter is 455 kilohertz, and that will be amplified. Also, you can see this, there's a band pass. The uh, higher frequency is cut off, the lower frequency is cut off, but only the frequency in the middle, which is in this case 455 kilohertz, is allowed to pass through the filter. Okay, the circuit is already built here and it's receiving the only station that can be received here very well a day. It's the so-called Bayern Plus station, which is transmitting on 801 kilohertz. And um, I'm not connecting ground and antenna to the circuit. The only antenna we have here is this ferret antenna. This is pretty much what you have in a real life, if you want to call it like that, a real life radio. A ferret antenna. And before this thing was running, uh, I put it together and it wasn't running at all. Um, I was having many problems with this, but all problems could be solved very easy. The first problem was I was hearing just a very, very loud squealing, squeezing sound from the speaker. And that's because of oxidation. So as you can see, I'm wearing rubber gloves, but back in time I was doing experiments with this and I wasn't wearing rubber gloves. And so the parts are slowly, very slowly oxidating. And to stop that and prevent that now, when I build stuff with this box, I use rubber gloves. It's not that comfortable, but at least the parts won't oxidate that much. Or that is, that's at least what I hope. And I, these wires here are a little bit oxidating. And if this amplifier does not have a good ground connection, you get a really loud, it's, it's annoying, really loud squeezing noise. It's like a siren. However, um, I managed to get it running, so don't touch these connectors uh, for the video. And, it's, and the second thing was, I wasn't receiving any station, so I made my way through. I adjusted the, uh, in, uh, the IF transformer on 455 kilohertz, then I adjusted the uh, tank circuit of the antenna coil and the tuning capacitor, and as I made it, it got more and more sensitive, and now I think I've got it pretty much on the top of what can be done with it. Maybe there can be done something more, but uh, in my short experiments, it was the top what I, what I could achieve with this circuit. And now it's running. And here's the gain control. It controls all of the gates of the dual gate MOSFET. This LED is for stabilizing the voltage of the gate of the MOSFET for the gain control. And it's already tuned into the station that I mentioned. And now I'm going to adjust the gain on high gain. So I'm going to adjust the preamplifier's gain. Uh, and you will be able to hear the Bayern Plus station from the speaker. Do there is no audio amplifier between the germanium diode and the final amp, it's not very loud, but as you can see the uh, circuit board is really filled with components, so there is simply no more space for, an simply for a simple audio amplifier. Okay. Okay, I'll turn it off. I hope I don't get copyright issues for that song, if it could be heard any good. So that's a single conversion receiver. Um, this is a version you could find in a simple radio. Of course, you won't find all these fancy dual gate MOSFET, mixer IC uh, stuff. I've seen radios where they use three transistors for this for the same type of receiver. The first transistor is switched as local oscillator and mixer, so it's a self-oscillating mixer. And then we have some IF amplifications or amplifier stages. As I said, I've seen a radio that uses three transistors for the main RF part and it's about as same as sensitive as this circuit. Okay, that's one of the circuits um, made from the Cosmos RadioTech um, Electronics DIY.
Get.